Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're going to take a quick look at a short pleasing melody from a uh, old time 1960s television show. And I hadn't heard it in a long time, but heard it yesterday, spent some time working it out, and soon found out that there is plenty of room for us to customize this melody ourselves, and to improvise on this melody if we wish, and to practice our composition skills. And uh, remember what uh, Mozart said, the silence between the notes, or the space between the notes. Uh, when you alter those slightly or drastically, right, that can contribute to our happiness through our own self-expression. And um, so without further ado, let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. And that's pretty much it. In the television show, they obviously repeat that. And then in the real song, I think that they released on the radio. I'm not sure which came first, but the real song on the radio, there's a little bit of uh, improvisation. So that's why I kind of put pause down here after the... Right, and then it kind of goes... Da, 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 da. And then it kind of that launches into the next part of the song. And then you, after you uh, improvise or have your own fun, um, you repeat, go back to the top. And repeat it one more time to close out the song. So when it comes to different variations, and again, modifying the melody, customizing the melody, as I like to say, there are a whole bunch of different parts that all seem to center around this area here. I'm sure there's other places we could do it, but the, um, the sweet spot is right in here. So again, the original melody is kind of... And I added a couple extra notes the first time I played it, right? I should have just went... But if you are a longtime subscriber, uh, you know Mr. James. He's going to try to jam in some extra notes, some grace notes, and, and extra customize it. So I'm guilty of that, and I apologize. But let's just take it um, on this one, the... Right? Now let's go over here and check out a couple different options. So when I first started this, I couldn't do that pattern, which seems pretty easy now. But yesterday when I first started this, it, I wasn't able to do it. So I sort of fell back to an old, um, more my style, kind of like a blues rock kind of style that I'm uh, comfortable with. So instead of that pattern, I started out with this. Right? So this descending pattern is, is a lot, well, it's a lot of songs all over the world, but in the world of rock and, and of blues and of jazz, it's kind of... And I can tell that my keys are not ringing out perfectly because I'm having too much fun and not hitting them perfectly delicate and all that. And so that's one way you can do it, just a straight forward and then emphasis note and then bing. Remember, uh, in my own particular um, type of transcription, the, the bright ring around the notes of the emphasis notes. So I go do 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 and then it, there should be a C jammed in there, do do, right? Or if you can want to whistle. And sometimes I put a fifth one in there, so that's four times. Sometimes I put a fifth one in there, depending upon what kind of mood I'm in, right? That's part of improvisation as well. Now, another way you could do it would be to do the descending pattern, but then stop and hit a C for emphasis, right? Both here and at the end in the G. So that would sound like... So this way, the second way is a nice happy medium. It preserves the, which is the emphasis note. So here's the original way, right? That, that's like one of, that's the rolling, that's like a rolling, oops, a rolling kind of emphasis, right? It's like a rolling melody, which is really cool. Play it again. Right? So, a little bit easier way for me to do that and again I started out here then I went here and then I finally kinda got to the real part like the real song so again let's do it this way so see how that's a happy medium I'm still doing the but instead of just repeating it I'm stopping to right get the good emphasis 
Okay, and so that's kind of a ha- and that's kind of the way I'm actually playing it a lot. It seems like. And then um, here we go with the third way, and let's check that out. So that would be. So that's kind of changing from the emphasis of. Right? And instead of going, we're kind of going. See the difference? Right? So let's try that again. Right? So interesting kind of ways by again, um, we switch the order, we add it and switch the order a little bit from a to a, right? But you can see how much room in this very simple, pleasant, puts a smile on your face kind of melody, where we can increase our happiness even more just from hearing the regular old time melody to customizing it our own ways. And there's actually two more ways that I figured out that I didn't want to write down because again, I want you to find them yourself. So have fun with this awesome, cool melody, express yourself. Uh, you can write it out and compose it whichever way you wish, or you can just improvise all day long and have fun. It's up to you. Bye-bye.